broke, I couldn't even look toward the bitch. Now she suck my dick and don't say shit when I record the Catch bitch. That. Been on the indictment list, trying to see the forest list. Went from playing with joysticks to all traffic blowing sticks. When your fans get your name tatted, do you? What's good to YouTube? It's your boy Jay and I'm back at it with another video. Now today video, bro, this is going to be my last build I'm making in NBA 2K18. Now I won't be making no more builds until 2K19. Now with this build, I kind of made it built for pro and just bullet people. And when I was playing with this build, and I looked at what the badges matched out at, I was thinking to myself like, this might be better than a pure stretch big. Now check this out, bro. You gonna do? Oh shit, it's already up here. Post scoring, primary shot creating, secondary. Now I'ma uh, tell y'all what every badge on this archetype maps out at. Okay, you got up and on especially it maps Hall of Fame, drop stepper Hall of Fame, post spin te technician Hall of Fame, Brit Wild and Bruiser Gold. Okay, relentless finisher Gold, free throw ace. Well, everybody get that Gold. Mid-range dead eye, silver. Put back king silver. Pick and roller silver. And rim protector silver. Now, you get hustle rebounder bronze. That's the only downside. But then again, it's a big up. Like, it's a great thing because you got like a pure scratch. They don't even get hustle rebounder. You feel me? And if you a center rebounder, don't you? If you got like a rebounding built. Like, you kind of made it for no reason, because as long as you get box out, you good. <laughs> okay, teardropper of bronze, defensive stopper of bronze. Uh, they get posterizer of bronze, tireless score of bronze, you know, glue hands go. And they get difficult shot silver. And charge card and live city finish, I'm not even worried about them bad, so I don't know what they mess out at. But look, bro, now I'm going to show you guys why this builds the best center built to me okay i always make mine seven two because if you seven three like i can't i can't go to the mass hype because bro i feel like i'm gonna be like a, too slow you feel me so i always go seven two you know you're gonna master wingspan now with the weight i made him exactly 315 bro you got what well, i always put my shoulder whip down because it make your arms long left hand all the rest of this don't matter <clears throat> Me. Now, I'm gonna show you guys the attributes to this uh belt, bro. Cause I was going through the belts, I was thinking like a defense slasher. Cause like I just want to experiment with new belts. But after I seen this belt, I was like, why not? So just look at the layups. Standing layup is an 87. Driving layup 64. Shot close 87. And that ain't even where it mess out as you feel me. Well, I can still get that upgrade or something. <coughs> My dunk, standing dunk, 78. Driving dunk, 59. Contact dunk, 77. With this build, you can get the big man contact dunk, you feel me? And that ain't where my dunks mess out at. Now, here go what got me. Contested mid-range, 83. Open mid-range, 81. Moving is a 59. Of course, I'm 72. Like, nigga, what's something you know in the NBA gonna fade that bit? You feel me? Three ball, and my mid-range go up some more. My three ball, 63, 61, 49. Now, I've been seeing people miss taste with this build. They been, they hit green light corner shots, man. I mean, yes, yeah, a corner, but okay, ball control 71, speed with ball 39. Yeah, hey, <laughs> my nigga, my ball control, my ball handling, it go up a lot more. But I doubt I even get anything I'm talking about to that white bar. Cause I'm, to be honest, I made this build just for pro am and the bullet other centers at part. Passing 68, 53. Post offense, it's 8 at 8. I think it go to a 9 and 1 when I get that last bar. Uh, rebounding is a 76, 76, 77 box out. Still, of course, it's going to be low 59. Blocks, 73. Shot, con shot contest, 70. Vertical, 37. God damn. I can't get off the ground. Uh, lateral quickness, 35. Fuck. Speed 42, <laughs> acceleration 36. Well, I mean, it is a sound. What can I expect? My screen is an 84. You know, everybody's stamina up there. Now, I say this build is better than a pure scratch. Because think of this, guy. <laughs> when you go up against a pure scratch, what do you think? The first thing they're going to do is try to shoot, right? Okay, if you can cut, they scoring to build it out. Because, to be honest, like, 
if you say if you a heavy tools player like me, okay, if you say for instance, if your team get ball first, that not well that eighty four strength plus that ain't even where it mess out of it. it probably go. I don't know where it go to, but it gonna be higher than eighty four. Now, a pure strength bed strength is not that high. I don't even know what they screen is, but I know it's not that high. You can bullet them. And let go back to the badges. Now, you got drop step, post spin technician. Technician, damn. Bruiser brick wall. Bruiser gonna drain the scratch energy while you back him down. And that drop step is gonna move, like, get your little ass out the way. You feel me? That drop step is gonna move him out the way. Now, Bills like a slash or rebound, and they might give you a fight just because you feel me? They scratch high too. They got bruises too, so they draining you down. Y'all just draining each other down, no homo. You feel me? That's all it is, bro. But look, but this bill, I think it low key might be overpowered, bro. You even get real protect on silver. You don't even need to put defense in your archetype. You feel me? But, hey, man, I'm going to bring y'all some gameplay with this built very soon. I'm not dropping no gameplay with this built until I get drop step or max. Post spin technician match, max, and bruiser match. Them the only three like I really need. Cause you know in this year's game it's a post. Well, it ain't a post game, but post scores is the most overpowered built, bro. And then you seven two and you can fade and hit a green light even if somebody jump. Cause you feel me? If you put on what's his name that dirt and the whiskey, uh, fade away. He got this little animation where he kick his leg out. You feel me? So it's gonna be hard for you to, to block it if he got his leg out, you feel me? But hey bro, I'm gonna bring y'all gameplay with this build. This build have, have to be the most overpowered build in the game, bro. Cause it was the pure scratch, but thinking about it, if you get ball first, you gonna dumb it, you gonna kill that pure scratch every play. But if they get ball first, it's easy. You just gotta stay with them, you feel me? You gotta guard them. Like I know my lateral equipment is a 35, but you feel me? I think it's good enough to guard a stretch. Now, I don't know yet, but all I know is, <laughs> like, a pure scratch going to have hell guarding this build. You feel me? But the pure scratch get the ball first, I mean, and, and y'all probably saying, why you only talking about pure scratch and so many other centers build? Because the pure scratch is going to be the hardest to guard because it's a three-point shooter. It got gold limits, you feel me? That's why I'm only talking about the pure scratch in this build. They're going to be the hardest built to guard is a pure scratch. But to be honest, it's all at the end of the day who behind the stitch, bro. Because some of these pure scratches, they trash, my nigga. They trash. But look, bro, I'm going to bring y'all gameplay when I get this built right. It's your boy Jay, and I'm out.